hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you as i promised in the last episode how to align this arrow uh, point in direction with the reticle or the crosshair in the middle of the screen and as always this episode is also sponsored by these uh, awesome patreons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so this is how it looks at the moment my reticle is uh, in the middle but my arrow is pointing somewhere else so here is my player ch player blueprint and I'm updating the upper body rotation of the character in this part and I think you remember this part because I showed you in a previous tutorial we implemented this part so we have to modify this pitch and yaw in order to match with the direction of the arrow towards the reticle so so I'll, to make it easier to access, I'll add a point here. <clears throat> this is the yo, and this is for. Sorry, uh, the upper one is for yo, and let's. And this dot is for yo. Upper one is for pitch. Okay. Now. <clears throat> based on this rotation values that I feed here the upper body rotation of my character is changed in the animation blueprint if you don't remember that part I'll just show you quickly so this is the upper body rotation and I'm using that rotation to transfer modify bone and I set those values here like this and alright so I don't have to do any changes in the animation blueprint I only have to change them here so here let's first uh, match we need to do some modification to pitch and yo so let's check it again how it looks and it's uh, we can have some idea about how to modify those values right so as i can see here my character should rotate a little bit to the right side in order to match the yo and also the pitch should uh, rotate a little bit to the downwards that means a minus pitch should be applied so let's try this for you let's add something like mm, not sure maybe 30 and this one should have a minus value uh, so let's try minus 10 Now let's see. Uh, much better than what we had. But I think our yo, not yo, the pitch should be less than it's a little too low. So let's try instead of minus 10, like minus 7. Yeah, I think that's this looks better. Yeah, I'm happy with the alignment. And if you're not, you know how to change these values. Now you can try different values and come up with better values to properly adjust them. 
and yeah also I have another small problem here now as you can see my camera is uh, without any smooth transformation my camera just swaps to the right of the character and when I release the bow it swaps back to the original location but not any smooth transition apart from the FOV change so I'll fix that as well and I am changing that socket offset here like this so instead of directly setting it like this I'll promote this to a variable I'll call it target socket offset and let's set those values instead of setting this direct camera parameters so this should be 0 0 and this one should be oh, not like this there should be a hundred all right and I don't need this part now so now how do we use this variable and smoothly change this uh, spring arms spring arms this socket offset well we already doing this in the camera update for spring arm length and FOV so I'll do the same thing here let's get this one if this one is not equal to 0.1 would be enough if this one is not equal to the current socket offset of the spring arm we should change that so get socket offset okay like this and a branch so this one not equal to this one that means we have to change the socket offset so we can do it with a lerp like this set socket offset like this and the we can love this value itself with this target value and uh, with a lerp of let's say 0.1 and set it here all right okay this looks a little awkward so therefore I'll plug it like this all right anyway that's the same thing now let's see how it looks right now as you just saw the camera is smoothly going to the right side of the character and when I release the arrow, it's going back smoothly. That's much better than what we had. Alright. Mm, I think that's all for today I'm going to do. In, in upcoming episodes, I wish to work on actually shooting the arrow. And also, uh, I have to change this quiver as well because there should be arrows and as I draw new arrows that quiver should become uh, should be empty eventually uh, things like that so I need to fix and improve my bow and arrow system and I'll upload my updated project files here once I'm done with cleaning up and if you like to support my work, you can always get the membership here in my Patreon club. 
and depending on the tier you join you will have the different privilege have different privileges all right see you in the next episode goodbye